What's up everybody, I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV, and today I'm gonna to be talking about all things hiking shorts. There are a million options out there for what you can get, and it can be really overwhelming. So I have hand selected my five favorite hiking shorts of all time, and I'm at the trailhead, so I'm trying to figure out what I should actually wear for hitting the trail, and hopefully this will be helpful information for you. Let's break it down right now. Okay, so I did just go to REI yesterday and was looking at different shorts just to get an idea of how expensive everything is. And it would be so easy to drop hundreds of dollars before you even think about it. So I did wanna include some budget options here in this video as well. So my very first pair of shorts actually are the river short from a company called Wear First. And uh, these can be found at Walmart of all places. This is a $29 pair of shorts. Now I have actually been using these shorts for the last six months and I really, really like them. So you can see they've got some wear and tear on them. They've been through the ringer a bit, but they have held up amazingly well for a $29 pair of shorts. So Wear First makes a pair of shorts that has a, a cotton, nylon, and I believe polyester blend. So they do have some of that moisture wicking capability. Uh, on them, they are a nice, they're not the most technical pants out there, but they're super, super comfortable. So a couple of things that I really like about these pair of shorts from Wear First is one, the integrated belt. So I really like that uh, this is actually sewn in and you can't pull the belt all the way through, which I really like because after say six months of throwing pairs of shorts in the wash with the free flowing belt here, those end up just migrating somewhere in the belt loops and I uh, am not a fan of that. So I also like having a belt integrated, this slim kind of hiking belt in your hiking shorts because if you have to wear an actual belt belt, uh, those often get caught up in your waist belt of your backpack and I just really like having something much more slender than, than your kind of traditional belt. Uh, I also really like the pockets. They have just a couple of pockets one that's got a nice zipper here on the side, and then one for a wallet here on the back. So it's minimal, it's a minimalistic design. I like the slender cut of them. Uh, I don't really appreciate having that big wide gate uh, for your thighs. Now some people might need the wider thigh pants, but I prefer a more slender option. So if you wanna find a good cheap pair, of hiking shorts, inexpensive, that's just quality. Check out Wear First. These are available at Walmart and online, I believe. Uh, so that's $29. That's our entry level hiking pair that are totally kick ass. Okay, second up on my list is the Ferrosi pant or the Ferrosi shorts from Outdoor Research. Now, I recently did a video all about hiking pants and the Frosty pants were some of my favorites of all time and the shorts are no different. And in fact, these are amazing at how uh, well they clock in with their price range. These are $52. Now, uh, a lot of hiking shorts that you're seeing nowadays are like $70, $80. And so I really like that Outdoor Research is still making quality shorts while having a relatively inexpensive price point. No zippers, no Velcro on the back pockets. Um, and then they have one side uh, kind of thigh pocket here that's really nice for lighters or uh, lighter. It's really nice for lighters or pocket knives or things like that. And they just, the fabric on here is really nice and light. It's moisture wicking. It has a nice uh, soft bit around the waistband. I just really like these pair of shorts. Now, they, they do tend to ride a little high, so if you like showing off some thigh, these are definitely the hiking shorts for you. And if not, maybe go for something a little longer, like the next pair of shorts here. These are the Sahara hiking shorts from REI. So this is the REI brand uh, hiking shorts, the Sahara. And these are kind of your classic hiking shorts. They have cargo pockets, um, which I am not the biggest cargo pocket kind of person, but there are a lot of people out there on my hiking pants video who were wondering where the hiking, the cargo pants were. And so I thought I'd throw in a good pair of cargo shorts here because having that, it's really nice for being able to throw, uh, come on in a little bit closer there. Yeah, come on in, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. So we've got these nice 
big pockets that can hold uh, a good amount of gear on both sides. One has a zipper, one does not. Uh, so, you know, if you want just something that's more of like one hand access. Then on the back, of course, you've got uh, double butt pockets here for, you know, showing off how much money you've got. To see you wiggle, wiggle, for sure. Make me want to dribble, dribble, you know. If you need something like that, which I really like. And then it's got a little bit of an elastic waistband. So that's really nice for if you get the right fit, then you probably don't even need to wear a belt at all, which I, if I can not wear a belt, I certainly appreciate not wearing a belt. Uh, these, the Sahara pants are $58 from REI. So again, that is a pretty nice, anything under 60 bucks to me is a pretty good deal when it comes to hiking shorts. So that's kind of like your standard and below. And now we're getting up into the, the, the really the pricey stuff. So if you're ready to drop some cash, let's talk about the next set of pants on here. These are the Renegades from Cool. Now, Cool has been making some great hiking pants. I think I got some dog hair that are, that are on these, so I apologize for that. Um, but Cool is, they're just a cool brand. I know that they probably hear that joke a thousand times a day, but they have, uh, again, come on, yeah, come on back in here, Blake. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. We'll keep it light and breezy and informal. So they have on their uh, butt pockets, They've got a little bit of Velcro. Make sure you don't lose your wallets or if you're in a pickpocket situation, you can hear somebody uh, opening up the Velcro there. I really like these pockets that they have here on the side. And then they're pretty minimalist. I, you know, if you've got something like a pocket knife that you wanna slide down here, there's not a ton that I like to put in these pockets, but I do like having these zipper pockets with that uh, mesh inner down below at my thigh. That's just a really nice hiking short. These are a little bit more technical on the fabric. So they are quick dry, they're durable, they're rugged. They've got kind of a blend of do it all type of shorts. So if you are looking for a nice pair of shorts that has kind of do it all capabilities, check out the Renegade from Cool which are available all over the place, especially REI, of course. Okay, that's it from Cool here. Now, the last pair that's on my top five hiking shorts of all time is actually a running short. So I really like these. These are the Game Maker from Saks. Now, Saks are the cleverly, hilariously named uh, shorts company that makes underwear and shorts. And they are geared more towards men because they have what they call their ballpark pouch. So inside here, uh, you can actually turn these. You can see they do kind of have that inner underwear feature that some people really do not like. However, I do really like them. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how I can, this is a family friendly channel here. So um, items go in this portion of the shorts. Um, not gonna describe the items, but uh, they do go in there very nicely and they feel cradled when they're in there. Um, so that is really nice feature. I actually just like wearing these really loose, light shorts, especially where I hike in Arizona and Utah and hot environments. It is so nice to have that breezy nature to them. So you can wear these with underwear, you can wear them without underwear, either way is comfortable. Um, and I just really like, they do have just a couple of pockets here on the sides. And uh, you can tell I have worn these for a long time and I've gone on lots of running, trail running trips in these or just backpacking trips in these. I like the elastic uh, waistband as well as having the ability to tie them. So again, avoiding belts is really, really nice for me uh, because it's just so much more comfortable. These are $78 from, I believe, REI, also from Saks Direct, uh, just on their website. And they are a great thing. So don't be afraid of running shorts. Actually, I think running shorts are an awesome thing for backpackers and through hikers and just anybody who wants the more lightweight, a little bit more breezy. Obviously, it's not gonna be uh, a very warm pair of shorts to wear, but if the temperatures are pleasant outside, there's nothing better than feeling uh, like you're just a part of nature out there. So I highly endorse 
all of these pairs of shorts. Uh, I think that these really have withstood the test of time, and I really think that they will hold up to whatever rigorous testing you can throw at them. Okay, the last video that I did, I had people give me their favorite hiking pants in the comments. There were so many great comments and pairs from companies that I wasn't even aware of, so thank you so much for that. Hit me up again here in the comments below with your favorite hiking shorts because I bet there is a bunch that I don't know about here as well. So uh, I'd love to hear from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please, again, uh, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed here. All of the details about these shorts will be in the description below, so check those out. And I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.